This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Thursday, January 21st, 2021. I'm thinking about this week, uh, the interplay between Martin Luther King and Lyndon Baines Johnson. And this interplay that happens over and over again between activists and institutionalists, between civil rights leaders outside of power or, or within churches, and politicians, and how we think about the, the different commitments that each of those groups have. That's particularly important because in some ways neither Johnson or King's legacy is complete without the other. Because for King, he spent a good bit of his career pressuring Johnson, forcing Johnson, the politician, to take action well before he was ready to, well before the politics of the moment seemed ripe. We were um, talking completely unrelatedly about the, the church's website um, today, and one of the things that came up is, is that sometimes we just need to publish it rather than waiting until we have everything set up perfectly. Because if we say we're going to wait for the perfect moment, that perfect moment will never come. And in some ways, that was, that was a role that King played with Johnson, saying it's never going to be the perfect moment to pass the Civil Rights Bill, to, to pass the Voting Rights Act. The, the moment is now. Do it now and have the courage to do it. And then going the other way, I don't think you can remember King's legacy without remembering that he also worked with institutionalists. That the, the civil rights movement is a triumph of activism, absolutely. It is a triumph of community organizing. It is also a triumph of activists working with institutionalists to pass legislation. The Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act are, are imperfect vessels, but they came about because activists said, we are going to pass an imperfect vessel through the United States government, and then we're going to build on that. It's a historical tragedy that we didn't build on that as much as we could have, but I hope, I hope we can remember that conversation. That it, the movement that we are still a part of now has never been solely about activists or solely about politicians, but about the interplay between the two. Both saying, what must we do? What does our conscience compel us to do? But also, what can we do? What can we do in legislation? What can we put teeth to legally? It's an important interplay to be aware of now as much as it was in 1966.